Hi, welcome to another edition of Totally Awesome Fishing, where we aim to give you the simple tips that get you those extra fish. Today, we're going to show you small stream chub fishing, which you can do right throughout the year, and it's so simple, it's unbelievable. All you need is a fixed small reel like this, an Avon rod with a quiver tip, light quiver tip rod, a single hook, about a size 8 or a size 10, you can use barbless or barb depending on what the rules of the uh, river or the fishery are and just one bait, wait for this, a piece of cheese. Let me show you how you put the cheese on. Make sure you use extra mature cheddar. You want something that's a strong smelling, break a piece off, just knead it two or three times, push the hook in. If you want it to sink fast through the stream, it's in fast water, make sure it goes round. If it's in slower water, you want it to sink slower if you squeeze it flat. Now here's my little tip. I just put a split shot on there of any size, whatever the current is, slide the shot down right onto the hook eye, throw that bit away, and I'm going to mould it around the whole lot, flat like that. That's going to sit on the, on, the, on the riverbed, and if you cover it right over, you can't see the shot, cast it out, and it'll lay on the bottom where the chub can see it. How simple is that? A piece of cheese, five pound line on the reel, one hook, let's go fishing. Well, this is what I love about small stream chubbing. It's enough of the tackle talk, now we want to see what we can catch something. It's really overgrown this time of year, and you've got to look for your spots, but you've seen how to rig up, you've seen how to put the cheese on, let's get cracking. The upstream areas of this tiny river are pure chalk stream. That means clean and clear. Ideal territory for fly fishermen after trout. And this clean water provides an ideal habitat for wild brown trout. But as you move downstream, other species take over. Dace, roach and chub. For such a tiny stream, you can often be surprised at the standard of fish. And this is where I come in with that cheese bait. Got to, we're in the park of Farnham here. Got a cracking little chub, and it's already got the music overlaid on it. We've got a rock band playing as well, so that shows you they'll feed in any conditions pretty well. And that took the cheese, as I told you, free line just laying it on the bottom. Stay on. I don't know whether to go fishing or listen to the band. I really deserve this one with the rock music, kids throwing sticks, people jumping in, paddling. And I ledgered this one on the bottom with a little ling ledger. Let's get him back. Well, we've had to move out of the park. It's uh, great music, sunshine, and a million people. But it's just too much for the fish, and we got lucky back there. So I'm going to come downstream, away from all the noise and the rabble. Hope there's more action going on down here. Quiet action, fish action, I'm talking. But if you're going over any bridge, always look down because that's the best place to spot a fish. And then you can bait them up and start some lines of bread crust going down the stream, bits of bread. And you can look from the bridge and see exactly where these fish are going to start feeding. Yep. 
Yeah, all you've got to do is just get some bread, break it up, these pieces of bread, thumbnail sized pieces, just toss it all over like this, hopefully the ducks don't see it, and you can watch it float down, and you should be able to spot on maybe a 30, 40 yard stretch exactly where the chub are coming up. size of this dace. This is on a chunk of cheese. Great big piece just rolling along for chub. That is a big dace. What a beauty. And there's plenty of them. They're all coming up on the uh, on the bread there. I mean I could really knock these out all day long with maggots but I don't want to. I want to try and get a chub to show you. But it shows you. Look at the size of the hook. Size 8 hook there. That's a size 8 hook. Not bothered by it at all. And a, and a huge great dace. Now that's worth getting out of bed for. Well now here is another spot that's worth a look at. I'm right down by the road bridge, it's really noisy. I mean, it's a beautiful bit of countryside and riverside here. It's just unfortunate, you know, that uh, it's right by the road. But over here, just down there, you probably won't see them. I'm gonna see if I can get the camera on those chub. And this is why you need polarizing glasses. If you can't see them, you can't catch them. Well, I came down straight away when I walked down there, <laughs> cast out, first cast, and I could tell these chub had never been fished for before. They're right under that willow on the clear gravel. It's a nice fish. We've got no conception how I'm going to get it. It's buried itself in the weed if I can get to the weed. If you don't see me again, send out for the AA. This is what you call jungle fishing. That was worth coming down these bushes for, I know. That shows you a Sunday afternoon, bit of bread, bit of cheese. Oh, a what? Three pound chub? Very fat across the back, this one. Just hooked in the corner there. Straight out. Beautiful fish. I really enjoy catching that one. Got to see it take the cheese. In fact, I didn't even look at the quiver tip, I just saw the, the rod go round. That was worth a look. I think I'll put him back upstream. better fish come right down the bottom. Ah where well, it's quieter. There he is, lovely chub. Oh, we still got the rock music going up in the town, in the park. Look at that fish. Look at that fish. That's a, that's a cracking chub for a small stream. Get him. He's in, he's swimming. Let's take this one down in the sunshine and show you it. Now then, look at this one. That shows you they're not scared. Look at that chub. Tell me that's not three and a half plus. Might even go four pounds, that one. Beautiful. But you know what's happening? I'm losing the light here. 
So I think we're going to have to call it quits. If I don't see the light, I can't actually strike when they close their mouth. But look, there's that single shot I mentioned earlier. Just in there. What's that? Five inches, four inches. So that's a nice chub to finish a session on. And I get the hook out. Now that's what I call totally awesome chubbing. <laughs>